Hey Jay everybody, welcome to 2024 and a comments video, our first of the year. It's pretty exciting. What video are we doing it on? Well, you see, that's the funny part, Gwen. We're doing it on all the videos, <laughs> the entire channel, yeah. every comment you've ever left. Wait, that's not enough, there's only one page here. Uh, we've pulled the top upvoted comments for the entire year of 2023 and we're gonna address all of them. We're not gonna even tell you what video these comments are from. We're not? Apparently not. Nope, we're doesn't not. Say. <laughs> it doesn't think, say. Doesn't say what video. I guess from. based on context from a lot of them. Galen Gala, the fact Alyssa kept smiling, especially during the doctor scene, is pretty creepy, but definitely is a good song, and I think this might be my favorite random encounter song. Wow, Amanda the Adventure is your favorite random encounter song. Honestly, for the number of likes that this comment got, I think a lot of people agreed, and it was their favorite song as well. And it's nice to be like, every year we're making somebody's favorite Random Encounter song. If only we could all smile so much at the doctor. Well, I think Alyssa was smiling because Wooly probably didn't have health insurance. And oh. therefore, I was being forced to pay out of pocket, which meant Alyssa she, was going to make big money. She's out of network. Is this getting weird? The black market of Amanda the Adventure. Inverse Sky 42. Nothing more on brand for that wonderful RE wackiness than getting a British actor to do an American accent and an American actor to do a Scottish accent. Crying, laughing face. They did them both so well. Stellar work from everyone. I like we have to guess what these are from. <laughs> well, we know this is from Brad. <laughs> Definitely from Brad. Because <laughs> yeah. it's remember. the only one last year where an American actor did a Scottish accent and a British actor did an American accent. To be fair, we also had an American actor doing a Russian accent and an American actor doing a German accent. Ah. We had all the accents in that one. We'll have you all let us know which ones were the worst and the best. <laughs> you I don't think, have to do that. I think the worst don't ones were probably... Yeah. You don't have to do that. I was going to say, because Inverse Hut Sky said stellar work for the other two, so... Ah, 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 they ah. said from everyone. I think they were just trying to be nice. <gasps> I don't what? feel like they were telling me I did stellar work personally. From Sophie Hogg 7777. First characters in Random Encounters Musical were annoyed with a kazoo played by a sparkly vampire. Now they're annoyed by a trombone played by a man who doesn't need to breathe. Also doesn't seem to know how to play trombone, if we're being honest. There's just a hey. lot of... <laughs> I, I tried to, to go with the... the it's the amazing beat. every other note Wait. is... <laughs> Wait a minute. Because there's a comment that didn't make the top 15 list here that oh. said, as a trombonist, I just want to thank you for playing the trombone correctly. What? So somebody oh. thinks you did a good job. Oh. Did it correctly? Well, this guy's thank never, you. You've never played a trombone in your life. How did you do it correctly? Uh, I have played trombone champ. And oh. I know that he goes... <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, uh, yes. Maybe we should read into it, though, that less people liked that than the people who liked that apparently you don't breathe. The baboon breathes for me. <laughs> it's a team oh, effort. Works. Noda FFs. I can only imagine what people thought when seeing this chef guy running around the city with a giant wooden spatula, not knowing the context at all behind it. You know, no one saw it. We went we out pretty straight. late. It was probably like 11 midnight, 1 in the morning yeah. or yeah, something yeah. like that. And there were cars, but not many. There were a lot of cars, at least one intersection. We had to wait so long to get a clear shot through one of the streets. Yeah. I don't know what it is about like 2 in the morning, but everyone has to drive by Red Lobster at 2 in the morning, apparently. Gary Dumbreck. They released it seven years after, and one of the lyrics was, It's been seven years since I worked at this place. Holy heck! I so, believe this was one of our poor victims who got caught by our April uh, Fool's Day joke this year. We did call it FNAF Dark Remains and we then updated sure it did. to the out of the box trailer. It's not lost on us that we are timing FNAF Dark Remains to come out approximately seven years after the supercut was completed for FNAF the Musical. Mm. Kind of a coincidence. If the pandemic hadn't happened, we would have released it like five years after. I think they didn't have enough oxygen in that box, and that's why all that stuff happened. I want to know who the fifth guy in that box was. Wait. What's his name? The the animatronic that nobody likes that talks Mr. to Hippo. Mr. Hippo. Mr. Hippo. Mr. Hippo is in the box. It's Mr. Hippo. His voice acting is pretty weird. Martha Bolanos 5930. I love how they represented Pepino's unhinged, unbridled rage and beating all the bosses to a pulp in the final fight as him just straight up eating pizza face. So Pizza Tower has a lot of things we kind of skipped and went straight for the, he beats up Pizza Head at the end of the video. <laughs> it just kind of like, we wanted an abridged version of Pizza Tower. 
I liked it personally. Yeah. I think it was. A Is it because you was... hate like the noise? Do you hate the, the noise? Because the noise was one of the candidates we considered we putting did. in it instead of Pizza Hut. I'm trying to remember if the noise showed up. Was I gonna have to play the noise? Probably. Um, <laughs> that sounds like a Gwen roll. The noise. You get a little spindly mustache and a stupid cape and. Oh, oh, if I get a cape, like a onesie I'm down. with socks. This is like been. Vegetable Warlord 2.0. It is. It's very, yeah. <laughs> so. You know, as long as there's a cape and, and I get to act silly, I guess I can't mm. complain too much. Heisenberg fam, this is the ultimate TF2 cast we didn't deserve but needed. I am right there with you, and not just because I'm part of it. <laughs> Uh, no, everybody we've gotten to be in it has been amazing. They've done a great job. But also, the game itself has just a great cast of characters. The characters from TF2 are really fun. So, shout out to them. Good job, Valve. Can we also just shout out this year that we actually managed to complete our TF2 cast? We did. Every character has been cast. Finally, it just took us like a decade. But we finally did it. So, cool. I can hear all the, the cries of the sniper fans out there being like, but the beard is not really a <laughs> He's not a good He's sniper. a great sniper. I wanted to hear the beard's Australian accent. It's like, oh, mate! <laughs> uh, Cole Keisler. Man, this whole musical feels like when you're ordering a pizza, but you actually get it for free after waiting for 30 minutes by luck. But not only do you give it a 10 out of 10 due to how amazingly delicious it is, but also you're eating it when it is actually free. What? Huh? What? Hold on. Wait. I, I got not sure things. I follow. Yeah. I'm not sure I follow. Well, I'm glad you liked Pizza Tower. The, I'm assuming this is from Pizza Tower the Music. And it was free. All the videos are free uh, to watch. Yes. They're not free to uh, make, though, so go support us on Patreon. And it was amazingly delicious, apparently. 10 out of 10. There you and go. free. Right. A note to FFs. Which we've had Again. before. I know. You, make you get a lot of likes. Light comments. You're a double offender. <laughs> Good job. Uh, I like to think that the context behind this is that after the events of Pizza Tower, Pizza Head went to work at Pepino's Pizza since he was essentially left for broke after the destruction of the tower. However, he still obviously holds some malice toward Pepino after he basically took everything away from him, so he tries to sabotage his business in every way while working there. That's my silly headcanon anyway. Also, Pepino ate Pizza Face with the actual f Uh, it's not such a silly headcanon. The only thing I think I disagree with about is I consider Pizza Head just incompetent. He doesn't seem like he's actually doing it out of malice. Yeah. He's just kind of clueless, clueless and yeah. dim-witted and wacky. Wacky. Is it at all oh. possible he got um, maybe some neurological damage? Oh, a brain from damage from his beating. The, yes. <laughs> he did get a severe and, beating. And now, in the game. unfortunately, this is. This is the, the best he can do. You know, instead of firing him for his incompetence, he eats the employee. You got to take him out of the workforce, okay? He's too devastating for the pizza industry. We have to get rid of Pizza Head. Wait, wait. Might as well eat him. Have we ever clarified, has the game ever clarified, is Pizza Head actually made of pizza or is he just a man dressed up as I pizza? I think he's a man dressed up as a pizza. I think he's made oh. of pizza. <laughs> I was, I was going to say the opposite. Interesting. I think he is a pizza person. Let us know in the comments I, what you think. I feel like if he's made of pizza and he's selling pizza to other people to eat, huh. there's there's a huh. problem, isn't there? But there's a cheese with a cowboy hat. Okay, so I think it's possible <laughs> he's made of pizza. I mean, it's less egregious that uh, Pepino eats him if he's actually just made of pizza. Because then it's like, yeah. I ate a weird pizza man. Yeah, I'd do that. As opposed to eating a human just as pizza. Yeah, I, I'd do that. Oh, I would not do that. I would not do that. We talked about this. Plasma effect. I am so glad Random Encounters is still here after all these years. Just brings a tear to my eye. This is the first one. I can't guess what video this comment was it on. It brings a tear to my eye that we're around still. Too. <laughs> <laughs> a tear of sadness and despair. You know, but it's got a lot of likes. Uh, uh, that one's from the Rewind last year. Uh, well, I hope you're still crying because we're still here. <laughs> we're trying really hard to still be here, but man, has this year kicked our butts. Uh, no, it's been really shocking how many people have kind of stepped forward over the last year or two to say that they spent their childhood watching Random Encounters. Because to me, I'm like, I'm the same me as I was 10 years ago, right? How much have I changed? And I forget, some of you guys have changed a lot! You've gone off to college, you've gotten jobs, you passed your tests, you're just taller, maybe? I, I would say we've grown bolder. I think we do bolder things now than we used to. We bolder. do more reckless things than we used to, which is strange, because usually people attribute that to being a teenager, but... In my adulthood, I do far more reckless things. I, I was gonna say, I just told my family about something we did this week and they said, "Are you, was that safe? And I said, I don't no, know. Absolutely. Probably not. not. 
<laughs> but we did it! But I Yay! did it anyway. We're on YouTube. That's what we're here for. <laughs> Making poor decisions in what front of an audience. What doesn't kill you makes good content. Killing! Kill, kill a the girl playing Amanda is phenomenal. She's yes. legitimately cute, innocent, and has a great singing voice while still being creepy, threatening, and intimidating. That describes Amanda really effectively. Mm. Uh, Alyssa. That describes Alyssa. It describes Alyssa and Perfectly. Amanda. Perfectly. Yes, but both of them. That musical was one that got delayed because we were having trouble nailing down exactly who we wanted to, to come in and play Amanda or who we could get to come in and play Amanda. And Alyssa, as soon as we contacted her, was like, I'm on board. I'm, I'm down. Let's go. And ended up being such a treasure. Couldn't have done it without her. And I'm, I'm glad you see it, too. From Wolfie the Wolf 87, a new FNAF musical, a sequel to Web of Lies, Possibly an April Fool's joke. I'm so hyped for this. Please don't let it be a joke. I'm guessing it was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this, tweet. Well, this it's, one didn't age it's, well. It's like good news and bad news. Bad news, that video was an April Fool's Day joke. Mm -hmm. Good news, by the end of the year, you'll have a real teaser for the real musical sequel And by to the end of lies. this year, yeah. you'll have the music. They'll have the actual oh, thing. The ending? And, and it will be worth the wait. So if you think for even a, a tiny little instant moment that we might be annoyingly talkative about how we're making this thing and it's coming out this summer and you should be ready to watch it and tell all your friends, it's because we really want to make sure that everyone who saw Web of Lies gets to see what happens when the puppets get out of the box. A.V. Lindvsks. That's right. <laughs> OMG, Ari, back with FNAF? Heck yeah, I'll sign for that. Please tell me Nate, Matt, and or Mark are in this crying face. Well, we're not going to tell you. But you should keep watching for the teasers. You should click the bell. Make YouTube tell you, okay? And even then, I know for a fact YouTube does not always share things, even if you click the notification bell. But do it anyway. It's literally the best way you can guarantee, or as close as a guarantee you can get. Or you can follow us on other social media platforms where we'll continue to scream about this project. That's true. Loudly, enthusiastically. That's true. With gusto. I've enjoyed watching how many people have been theorizing about whether they are going to see Matt or whether they are going to see Nate or whether they are going to see Mark. There's a lot of people throwing around a lot of wild theories about who might show up in this and why. I've seen people come back from the dead in theories. I've seen people that are going to burst out of the, the wall with a chainsaw again. Like, it's everything. Everything out there. And that's not to say that everybody has submitted wrong theories. Every so often, we see something that's like spot on. And I'm like, wow, you read right through our script before it was even out. Have you been reading okay. the script? Only a couple pages here and there. We start in OnlyFans, and they give us money to leak script pages. <laughs> with like seductive pictures of Freddy Fazbear. Ooh, ooh. Like the puppets laying out like, a bed yeah. of roses. And you know, he is just wearing a hat and a bow tie. He's so. very naked. Oh, no. Yeah. All the puppets are naked. <laughs> it's like no, Bonnie Bunny no. got that little she bow tie. She's got a bib. She's the most dressed. <laughs> uh, Foxy has an eye patch and nothing else. Uh, I'm yes. very, very distressed right now. You should be. Score. Amanda, animals don't talk silly, woolly, but they can sing, right? Thinking face, thinking face. We recorded Alyssa doing like 12 different sheep noises and they range from that like ah like annoying sheep to being like me and stuff like that. they were so good <laughs> we're down to our number one most liked upvoted youtube oh. comment oh. of 2023 oh boy. shadow el drago i'm inside the room with you actually brought a chill down my spine well done why, thank you. <laughs> we were uh, <laughs> planning that for a while, and there were like different endings we you know checked, and we thought that was gonna be the most chilling. We thought that would be like really fun, especially with Gwen's performance. Good job on you. With Gwen's performance of just that like little side eye, and then the turn, and then the horrifying beast, which that's on you too. Good job. <laughs> you made a horrifying beast. I'm as well. really good at making horrifying beasts. Yeah. When we started making the video, we talked about how we really wanted it to be this like really jarring mix of super cute at the beginning to like super creepy by the end. And I don't think we could have like mashed that harder than having her like go from this like, I'd really like to tell you a secret to like, I'm here. 
That's it. We did all the comments. Woo! All the top comments. There were a lot of really good comments that didn't quite get as much attention, just like YouTube itself. And, and that's no, no. fine. There were a lot of bad comments that we didn't like at all, and we <laughs> shouldn't have left them. <laughs> and some of them we even covered in comments videos, it turns out. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the bell. It's the best way to try to get YouTube to tell you about Random Encounters videos whenever we post them. Thank you also just for spending your year with us and for sharing our musicals with your friends, with yourselves, with your families, whatever. I don't know who you're sharing it with, and we're looking forward to a whole nother year. It. We'll see you guys next Friday. Beard salute! Woo!